All right, everybody, good evening. We are here uh, in Los Angeles. We've had much technical difficulties trying to get this thing rolling, so I wouldn't be surprised to have any other problems. Um, but here we go. We're pushing back in the 737 for the first time. Uh, yeah, that's a good view. Uh, for the first time here on the channel, we're pushing back in the 737. Uh, first time flying not an Airbus on the, um, for a pilot's life, so that's pretty cool. Super excited about that. Do we have any fuel in the center tanks? We do. Let's go ahead and get those pumps on as well. And then we'll go ahead and turn engine number one to ground. And that'll start it up. Forgive me if I'm doing anything a little funky. Nope, it's been a while since I have uh, flown the 737. Left, left the so it might be a little bit of a uh, kind of getting used to things again. We're going to stop him here pretty shortly. Probably right about now. Stop here and complete pushback. Come back up front to the engine. Yep, we got... Good start on engine number one. We had all kinds of ATC up, but it took me probably... Oh boy. Okay. What are we doing here? Set the parking brake. No, because you're supposed to be done pushing us back. Yes. Oh goodness. Did we just... Are they just gone? <laughs> okay, all right. Um, all right, so departure out of LAX. Let's go ahead and take a look. We're going to Tampa as United 1671. As you can hear, we have um, some uh, ATC up. We have SoCal Approach, which is awesome. Um, I thought we were on the dots. Oh, it's a star, that's why. Dots 2, we'll go ahead and pin that. Uh, airport, let's go ahead and get the taxi route. Nope. Airport info. 10-9 uh, is good. And we'll just kind of go to the pinned. And we'll go ahead for the airport charts. Who's asking? American 247. Let's go ahead and turn engine number 2 to ground. And we're going to set flaps 5 for departure. Um, we're going to go ahead and start rolling while we start up engine number two or no. November 1 to 2, Lima Delta, how do you read me? Oh, okay. well, you know what, honestly, I don't know how All that right, first Roger. one started, to be honest. We should have, uh, had the packs off and everything there. Walker 3182, out to Mr. 3 0 one 6 Like right, I said, a little, yeah, little rusty Charlie. on the, uh, 737, um... A little rusty on the 737 ops, but we'll figure it out. Go ahead and introduce fuel to engine number two, and we're going to go ahead and start Good rolling. Good evening. Scott was 3883, taxi with uniform. Scott, 3083, hold short of Delta. I got traffic entering the ramp. Holding short of Delta. Let's go ahead and get taxi light uh, on. And Scott was 3883. So, 39, is that Embraer going to block your entrance? So the 39, is that Embraer coming out of the Delta 7 alley going to block your entrance? Uh, we're going to block it. So 2139, Roger. Skyway 3883, runway 24 right, taxi via Delta, Delta 7, Victor. Across runway 24 left. Hold. Alright, looks like we got two Southwest, good Skyway, engine starts. 30, Let's go ahead and right flick Delta, on the Delta engine seven, gens. Hold short of 24 left on Victor. Um, we're going to go ahead right and auto departure. all the packs. Roger that. Pro right on Delta, left on Delta on. 7, uh, holding short 24 left. APU can come left off. Left. Let's go with 3882. And other than that, everything looks good to go upstairs. So I think we've done a decent job here of uh, starting up the 737, like I said, for the first time in a while. While we're taxiing here, while we're rolling, before we get uh, called, um, I was all ready to set up this flight and to, to get out of here and to uh, fly over to Tampa, set on autopilot, all that stuff. And then um, I load up the airplane and nothing was working. So I tried it again and then I basically just had to reinstall the airplane. And most of the ATC got off, but we have center up still, so that'll still be fun. Um, and we have approach, so they'll get us where we need to go. And um, yeah, at the end of the day, here we are. So Cal departure. And rolling with the November 3 and whiskey with the. Uh, we're excited to, to be in this Beach, year with United, and we're heading over to... Uh, sorry, let me turn that down a little bit, maybe a little loud for you guys. But we're heading over to uh, 
Tampa, so a long flight tonight, going to be a, a bit of a red eye. Um, going to leave this thing set up overnight and and we'll get to it back to in the morning. So he thought us to call him short of Charlie, so we'll go ahead and do that for him. Destination San Diego, and we'll do 2500. So the departure says 251 heading to 640 feet. On departure, left downwind, clock 4701. All right, so we're just basically going to cross here and make a left on Bravo. It's nice to be back in the 737, though. This thing is gorgeous. We're just going to have to find our way around a little bit, but might be a little sloppy, but it's okay. X-ray Bravo, Oscar, Sierra, Sierra, descend and maintain 9,000. Hope you guys like the Frontier series and everything like that, but we're here now with the 737 with United. We have, uh, I mean, we're still going to be flying the 320 as well, but for this schedule, we're going to try to keep it mostly 737 just to kind of switch up the scenery a little bit. All right, quick pre-takeoff briefing. Uh, we're expecting runway 25 right, uh, full length at Bravo 1. Um, it's going to be, uh, the chart says a 251 heading to 640 feet, which is uh, what we have in the, um, there in the uh, FMC. Climb across direct far out of below 3,000. Um, that's Docker. That's, we don't exactly have Farb uh, in there. Farb or Delray? Wait, that's off. I'm sorry. Climb to come across Docker out of below 3,000. Uh, we do have that. 220 to Wallier out of below 5,000. Then undepicted routes at dots out of above 15. So um, we should be able to expect 15,000. In terms of center frequency, that is 135.55. It looks like 135.55. And I'll have it in text for you. All right, so 135.55 okay, so on the center frequency. Yeah. Um, okay, clear to LAX. Our speeds um, are as follows here. We have uh, a takeoff Lenho, one D rate. Um, Currently outside, okay. uh, it is 7, 17 degrees. Uh, takeoff one, climb one, flaps five. Um, trim five, five, two, four, departure. So just over halfway up there. Um, V1, 148, V2, VR, 149, V2, 154. I right, bring uh, up the dots to two up, here. We're going to take the airport right off, right to our left side here. Approaching at 1641, hold a short 25, we're right, ready to go. I'm sorry, uh, to the middle of that runway 24. Got to try to get a word in wherever you can here. Arnav Docker wins at 320 with 5, runway 25 right, clear for takeoff. Arnav Docker, 25 right, clear for takeoff, United 1671. So I think, does that mean, I think that means we can just go direct there, like right off the rip, but anyway, we're going to go ahead and do that, we'll figure it out. Let's get our wing lights on, strobe lights on, and I believe we're ready to rock and roll here. What is all that? Whoa, flaps five, please. American 247, push into the alley, hold short of Delta. All right, let's go ahead and spool them up 40. Let's make sure our flaps get set here. Okay, approach I think the there. screw, IFR, that one is the toga. Auto throttle came off. Let's go ahead and bump that back in there. Flaps uh, five, green light. And we'll go ahead and go toga. Can I get Onav on the ground? November 112, Not quite. I got a quick question for the other aircraft that has no power. Two limit Delta Sagan. I got a I got a question for that other aircraft that has no power. Check. Go ahead. Uh, are your screens flickering as well, or? Go ahead. So we had three aircraft. We had the same report. The view, you're in a 172. There was a guy in an Embraer, and then there was a Bonanza. Positive Here's coming up. Roger. Thank you. Walker 3182, climb maintain 9,000. Coming 9,000. Let's try to get some LNAV. Look out, approach 2BM 9,5 Gulf Surge. And VNAV. San Diego. Two Lima Delta runway 24, looks like you're going to overfly it. Cross midfield, enter a left downwind runway 24, and report left downwind midfield. Roger, left downwind for runway 24, and we'll uh, call back. 
United 1671, so Cal departure radar contact, say altitude. 2100, United 1671. United 1671, climb via set, except maintain 17,000. By the set, except maintain 17,000, United 1671. Alright, 17,000 here. Zero, proceed direct through runway 25, left numbers cleared into the Los Angeles class Bravo ladder below 2,500. Third, the, uh, All right, there we go. Below and or flaps one. What one we get, minor finger zero. Direct the numbers two five left. Direct the numbers two five left, minor finger zero. Roll of five two cross. And DLB flaps clean. Dang, that is a good looking break out here. Doing some cloud surfing coming out of LAX, baby. Roll of five two Woo. cross field beach at seven thousand two hundred ten knots. Roll of five two. Extra five one thirty eight eighty two. Uh, one heading toward the two four right. Wow, zero, 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 look zero, at that. Heading, uh, zero, eight, zero. You're right, zero. Skyway 3883, you're ready now? Sheesh. Uh, hopefully. Skyway 3883, I appreciate that. Confidence. Through RNF to Fabra. Winds 3205, runway 24 right, clear for takeoff. 169. 24 right, clear for takeoff, uh, Skyway 3883. Walker 3182, clear direct slap, resume the new hall one departure. Number two, Lima Delta, winds 140 at three, runway 24, clear to land. United 1671, clear direct to PV. Direct PV, United 1671. I believe yeah, that's... I, have on the ground at I mean, we're I heading that way anyways, that pretty much. These guys, and then I'll approach you. Number Niner Tango Sierra, winds at Los Angeles, 320 at five, runway 25 left, clear to land, keep your speed up. That would have been nice, like, right after Docker, land, but it's all right, I appreciate left. the try there. X-ray Bravo, Oscar, Sierra, Sierra, the Hawthorne He's pretty Airport, three busy. Five miles. Try to keep this climb rate up to the point where we can just go outside. Delta, the Jeez. The Jeez. Right, thank you. Yeah, more the Sky was 38.83, so count departure rate. Dang, dude. Altitude. It's been a minute since we were in the 7.3. This thing is gorgeous. Sky was 38.83, climb and maintain 1.313,000. 13,000, Sky was 38.83. United 1671, contact Los Angeles Center 135.55. 3555, have a good night, United 1671. You as well. All right. Kelly Center, good evening, United 1671, 8,200. Climbing 17,000 on the uh, dots, too. United 1671, uh, Los Angeles Center, climbing maintain flight level 35 here. Up to level 35 United 1671. All right, guys, that is pretty much going to do it for our departure segment here. Just got cleared up to our cruising level. I'm still hand flying the airplane because it is uh, more fun to do that, um, especially on a departure like this, bending us all the way around. Um, I don't know, pretty far, fun turns and stuff like that. Dang, look at that. That's some cool weather, man. Oh, this is... What a time to be flying, too. I mean, this is just absolutely gorgeous. Coming through 10,000. Lower in the nose and starting to accelerate there. Is there a quick spot on this just like the other ones? No. Lights coming off. We'll leave the... Um, Bank angle. Seatbelt signs on until we get to... Uh, until we get out of these clouds and stuff but yeah everything looks good i would put the gear down and lock but i don't know how to do it in this thing it doesn't want me to do it unless wait did i figure it out isn't it like shift or something i don't know i don't know how to do it all right guys hope you enjoyed that departure and uh we'll see you from tampa all right, what's going on, everybody? We're on the downwind here in coming into Tampa. Um, and right now, we're going to go ahead and speed speed intervene and at least get like 230 on the downwind here. We're going to go ahead and go vertical speed. Actually, we're going to go level change down to 3,000. We're going to also... I guess Selman is our uh, final approach fix, so we have some time here. Beautiful flight overnight here coming into Tampa. Um, 
cruising over downtown Tampa right now over the western side of the state. It might not be downtown Tampa, honestly. It might just be eh, we're over the Tampa region. All right, guys, we're going to make a big left turn to probably about uh, uh, east. Landing on the ones today. Uh, we're going to dial the speed back now to about 220. About that. Well, let's go to the up speed so that we can start throwing some flaps in here. Get some speed brakes in. You know, honestly, and I kind of forgot that we we're so close to the final approach fix. Let's actually go about 180. And we're going to go ahead with flaps 5. And we're going to arm approach mode. That's localizer capture. Oh, shoot. I forgot. Oh, I forgot we're in a Boeing. Um, let's go flaps... 30 146 and then minimums are gonna be um, let's go slow it all the way down to a buck 46 here and then we're gonna throw the speed brake back up we'll go flaps 10 then we're gonna go ahead and go gear down as well Flaps 15, and probably all the way to 30 here. We'll try to arm the speed brake. It didn't work in the 747 very well. It looked like that. That actually, I think that did it. And then minimums are 211. So we'll go ahead with the Barrow mins and just right there to 211. That's perfect. Okay. All right, guys. Everything looks. Everything is looking good for our approach. We're on about a. Uh, about a 10 mile final probably going to go ahead and disconnect the autopilot here love that Boeing autopilot disconnect sound and we'll take the throttles here too glide slopes captured missed approach altitudes 3000 we have that set already that's perfect I think the United Gates are just off our right whenever we're going to land here so we're going to try to vacate on uh probably something like whiskey five would be nice long runway here so we'll see how that goes um whiskey five would be pretty perfect honestly and then we could just take victor four and right into the ramp but we'll see here we got flaps 30 green light auto brake two gears down and three green 146 on the speed lights are on everybody's ready back there Let's grease this thing on. First landing with the 737 in a minute. The last Boeing landing we did was a 747, so we'll see how this goes. And I think I was watching back the departure video, and um, I said, you know, the first time we've ever been in the 737, not on the entire channel, just on the, the pilot's life. So I thought I'd just clarify that. Winds are definitely a little stiff. 020 zero at 10, guessing 19, so we'll see. This speed is holding really nicely. Oh. Hold it back up. What? Bruh. Well, let's go manual brakes try to get whiskey six here at least. Ah oh, man, that sucks. How did I bounce that? 
I just, I flared too much. I always get too greedy at the end and then I pull it back up. So landing distance was long. It's all right. Gonna get the APU kick in here shortly. Um, let's make this actually, you know what? This kind of was perfect. Honestly, we're just going to go right through here and then right into a gate on that side. All right, let's go ahead and start up the APU. And we're going to go ahead and pick up the flaps. Maybe. There we go. I love the flap sound. Man, I love that flap sound, dude. It sounds so good. All right. Quick taxi, but we'll go ahead and see you guys at the gate there. All right, guys. Pull into the gate 64. Let's see if we can at least get a good, uh, a good park job here. And we'll go ahead and stop it there. Set our parking brake. And we have our engine bleeds running, or I'm sorry, our APU bleed running. So let's go ahead and kill engines number one and two. Get the wing lights off, get the strobe light off, and the taxi light off here as well. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, we can get the engine bleeds off. All right, guys. Pretty good um, flight here. See if we can't get some deboarding while we debrief our flight here. Why oh, always the air stairs? Oh, wait, they were, we don't have to use the air stairs here. We got a jet bridge. That's all right. It's perfect. It's great. All right, so we're gonna take a look at um, our flight today. We did. Let's go to the logbook. Our landing's probably gonna be better than than it actually was because of the bounce, but that's okay. Uh, with a 97, not bad. We'll take that for our first uh, flight here. Um, taxi let off. Yeah, I did forget about that. And then the pause top of descent. Pretty typical stuff. Negative 146 on the landing rate. Even on the second touchdown. Yikes. Um, in terms of our next flight, we're going to be going from Tampa to Houston. And I think I'm going to do that on stream today. That's about the only one that is reasonable uh, enough to do on stream. So right around uh, two and a half hours. So should be a fun stream later on today. Um, uh, not today from whenever you guys have seen the video, but today from today, you know, where I'm actually at. So, um, you know, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, this will probably just be episode one. Maybe I'll do flight number three along with this, but um yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day and hope you look forward to more United content in the future. Peace.